Hi guys. So today I will be trying on this foundation that I got from Ulta. It's called UMA. U-A-M-A -A foundation. Um, this is how the packaging looks like. I'm recording on my cell phone. I just wanted to, because I'm trying for the first time, right? So I wanted to record in person, like on camera. Sorry, on my cell phone. So I wanted you guys to see how it looks on my how it goes on my skin the first time. I've already prepped my skin. I applied my Catrice primer first and then on top I went with my Milk Hydro Grip primer which I've been enjoying a lot and using with pretty much every foundation. So this foundation comes in 51 shades from dark brown skin like it has a few categories like dark brown skin, brown skin, rich tan skin then very fair skin, olive skin, and fair skin. And on that category, they have their undertones, like TN1, TNW, like this it's going. And my shade is TN1, brown skin with neutral undertones. So the claim about this foundation is for medium coverage, and for full coverage, use generously. So it's medium to buildable coverage. And I was looking on Ulta to see their um, claim. It says that it's supposed to blur out the skin as well. It's, oh, it's paraben free, D3, D4, and D5 free, talc free, cruelty free, vegan free. So that's a good, that's very good because I know sometimes like talc makes your skin break out. So this is not going to do that. So it has a good claim. So let's start and show you how to apply or how I'm going to apply my face. I hope I'm recording well because I will be out after this. So that's why I wanted to record on, I wanted, I decided to record on my cell phone because I have to go do grocery and I want to show you guys later how it looked on my face for keeping it for a while. So pump applicator. It is, I should show you guys, this is how it is, right, it's not too liquidy, not too thick, perfect, consist, it doesn't have a strong smell, it smells like foundation, that's what it is, yeah, I don't know if I guys told you, this is my first time applying it, so since it's, it says medium coverage, that's why I went with a brush, first okay because I did not take a full pump let's do it okay and you dot it my friend decided to move from my face and go in my neck now uh, man talc free it's good clean because I know I've heard like talc does make you break up too. Let's see if it covers. It won't like for sure because it's not a full coverage foundation. It's medium to buildable. When I was doing my eyebrows today, guys, really, both my eye pencil, it's done. There's nothing left. So I have to mix both to fill in my eyebrows. My Wet n Wild and Cover Girl. Both. I'm like, really? I ran low. Same time. So up close. It gets a very... It's true, it's hydrating. It's not matte at all. I can see here. I can see there. So guys, I was looking in my mirror up close. For sure. I wanted to keep the coverage medium since I'm only going... Like, I'm going out for grocery. I don't want full-on face. That's why I kept it really medium. I don't want to build it up. So, pretty sure it's not a full coverage foundation. It's hydrating because I can still see, like, it's making my face look a little dewy, which I'm really liking. So, the question is how is going to last outside in this temperature? Today, I should have checked. Because it's not that humid today though, right? It's not because I went out earlier to work out. So 
going with my damp sponge as always and pressing the foundation into my skin so that I have a good coverage so as you can see it did not cover my blemish sorry guys I did not do full research on this foundation I should have but so far I'm liking it oh by the way I got this foundation from Ulta they had a good display and even they had the concealer uh, which I didn't decide I didn't get it because honestly whatever concealer I've been using now I'm enjoying it do you guys see like it's coming such a good finish yeah you all must be thinking like well you'll be liking oh, pretty much all the foundation that you're trying but honestly I'm mean, impressed like except the L'Oreal one infallible I don't know why it did not work for me I really had good luck with foundations concealers lately so now let's do the concealer where did I put my concealer I'll be applying my Milani which is a dupe for Too Faced sculpting concealer yep same packaging and it's the same full coverage hydrating which I like okay let me just go on spots Milani conceal and perfect I'm in shade medium beige 135 which you can find in Walmart I don't think so they have in Ulta in store about the online I'm not sure as always with all my foundations now I go with neutral undertones that's safe I would say I think I should have got little I forgot that it is a full coverage concealer let me set my concealer and I'll do it. To set my concealer, I will be using my Collab Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder, which I'm using pretty much with every concealer foundation to set it. I'm not going to bake it. I'm not going to do it. Just setting it a bit and then taking it off. And I'm not, I won't be doing any heavy contouring or nothing. I'll just keep my face like this that's all so what do you guys think first impression and for sure I'll come back and show you guys after how it looked after wearing it for a while and to set the foundation I'll go on top with my morphe setting spray I'm not going to spray it now right now because I just did my eyebrows so I'm going to just wait for a bit and then I'll apply this setting spray so that because this is the technique that I use with any foundation that I wear or try because I know some people they don't like setting this uh, face just to show how it is but I always prime my face I use a setting spray to set it like I do it pretty much with everything so that's why I want to keep this setting spray like set my uh, face with that well, one thing I was reading in the, about the foundation in the package it says 99% found a perfect shade match 95% said, said it's second skin or lightweight and honestly not cakey it is a lightweight foundation that's for sure soft matte hydrating foundation Uma Beauty I'm back with the second check-in of the foundation so the current time is 5 30 i had this foundation on for three hours so this is how my face is looking like what's the current temperature i don't know you don't know i think the last time i checked was 78 degrees fahrenheit so far so good babe what do you think about my foundation how is it looking it looks good yeah like it's not too heavy right no yeah that's what i'm liking like it's breathable up close so when you're saying heavy, do you mean like, like cakey? Yeah. Like it doesn't feel like I'm wearing like foundation like too much. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't seem like, right? No, it doesn't look like that. Yeah. So. I'll do another checking later on. Hi guys. So this is my final checking of the foundation. So current time is 9.40. 
so I have I've been wearing this foundation for seven hours yes um, so after I was done um, sorry we went out to do our grocery and I did record a f clip in the natural lighting to show you how my face was looking in natural lighting and um, so then we got home I put up with the grocery and everything we had dinner then we watched this show on Netflix Black Mirror guys we are lost we were so confused like what is going on we only watched one episode and I'm like um I don't think so you want to watch this anymore it's kind of weird so let me know guys have you watched that show or not like thoughts on that because honestly we're not getting it anyways so back to the foundation so coming up close to show you the current situation I did not blot or touch my face at all so the thing that I said even earlier this is a medium coverage foundation for sure not matte at all because it does feel a little greasy like my natural oil has come out and uh, I don't know how it's going to be like for oily skin type because for sure like in plus like in summertime like I do sweat a bit and mind it my skin is um, combination skin type so as always like as I said in every foundation review that my t-zone is dry and around is like normal so as you can see I did not apply any highlighter or nothing but you can see a little bit of shine my cheek bones yeah and another thing I'm noticing like it has rubbed off of my nose maybe because I was touching my nose and then I had dinner like around this area so I'm not sure yet that I will be only doing first impression of this foundation or I'm gonna for sure like I will be trying more so far like I'm honestly liking how it's my face is looking let me know what do you guys think and yeah and for sure in the future I will be telling you guys for sure what, about this foundation but let me know guys if you have tried it foundation or not like especially for oily people like how this foundation work for you because I'm new to this uh, foundation I don't think so like I have not heard anybody talk about this the only person I talked about is like Patrick Star he said about the concealer which I don't have I only this I'm more curious to try foundation than concealer so yeah if you have tried again let me know what you think and what do you think how my face because for sure like for dry to combination skin like this foundation is good sorry if you're hearing sound in the background my brother-in-law is playing games so yeah and even my concealer is doing hold on good yep so far I'm liking it and that's it for now guys hi my lovelies hope you all are having a good weekend today is Saturday the 15th so I'm doing another impression of the foundation the Uma Beauty this is my second time wearing it. The current time is 1.46, like almost 2 p.m. And we are going out. So I will be checking, doing a check back afterwards too. So this is how I hope I'm, a good, I'm doing a good job recording. So this is how my face is looking like. Trying it out or wearing it. I kept it really bare minimum because it's really hot in here, hot today. So today I did not use my Catrice primer. I just applied my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Yeah, and I used concealer was the Flower Beauty mixed with Jeffree Stars, and setting powder was Jeffree Stars Magic Setting Powder. And set it, and I sprayed my face with um, what's that? Morphe setting spray. Hello everybody, this is my second check-in of the Uma Beauty Foundation. The foundation is called Say What? So I want to show you guys up and close. The current time is 7.52. I wore the foundation around 2. So as I'm looking in my 
mirror in front the foundation has rubbed off my nose and it's it is a hydrating foundation that I can see and tell it's showing as well as as well um, earlier I saw like it was kind of breaking around this area let me see uh, I don't know if you can, can you guys can see and it was kind of looking like matte but right now since it's kind of really humid out so it has turned like oily the grease has come out yes and it is a medium coverage foundation that I can see yeah but I don't know for $36 is it worth it I'm not sure because I still have to play with this foundation a few more times my concealer looks amazing I'm wearing the flower beauty concealer just look at my under eye uh, amazing I just noticed after I was watching the clip I'm like my under eye looks really nice I even my eye makeup held on pretty good yeah. around this area is looking really good like my take for now I would say about this foundation if like my skin is combination like look at me like it's like during summertime it's really humid out for sure like it's going to be like I will be a sweaty ball I can tell for that like sweaty ball is that a word like I will be a grease ball like for combination for me like it has started to break out and my t-zone area all these have been like oily right like it's really look it's a, for sure I can tell it's a hydrating foundation around this area it looks good though like around my jaw area like it's the it's perfect like there's no it's not oily over there at all it's just around here and like I don't know why around my nose area it has completely rubbed off like the foundation is like gone yeah that's what I'm looking so I will do another check-in back later. again with the vlog style I know for the past few days I was saying that it's um raw footage but then I was like, you know what, I shouldn't be saying it a raw footage. I think mostly like when people do like um, uh, this kind of videos are called as vlog, right? So this is my third day or third time application of the Uma Beauty Say What Foundation. I think it's the third day application, guys. At this point, I don't remember. So this is my third time i hope so but anyways this is my app this is how my face is looking so today i did a little bit of change um i got this touch in soul like those uh blurring primer i believe it's a sample size let me show you guys like i bought some skincare products so i got this free gift like a sample free thing i got from ulta beauty it's no prob problem primer so that's what i applied today at first this primer is amazing now i know the hype about this primer is like when i was applying the primer my face looked so smooth right after i was like in between the application and i was like oh, really amazing i hope like there's enough in this so okay today i love how my foundation is looking like the application if you're wondering on my eyes i'm wearing the jawbreaker palette from jeffree star cosmetics on my lips is a bobbi brown lipstick with a buxton lip liner i'm loving the foundation today i don't know it's so far amazing like what do you guys say um maybe another get back hopefully do another check-in but so far i'm love i'm liking today how the foundation is 
the application and how it's making my face look what do you guys think let me know i want to show you up close my face in natural light what do you guys think i think today i love it just look at it Today the weather it's it is hot, yeah, humid. So am I going out anywhere today? I'm not sure yet. I might go work out in my shed. You guys will be wondering with makeup on, but let's see how the foundation wears throughout the day. I'm loving my makeup today. up close just look at it just finished working out so I'm in the shower right now sorry if there's an echo I wanted to record because I'm heading to the shower like I was sweating a lot so I wanted to record and show you guys so up close this is my face with the foundation it hold on pretty good because I was sweating like as my skin is combination it did pretty good and I think that found it, that primer Soleil Tante Soleil primer it's really good like I'm really liking how the foundation and um, today I built up the foundation and made it a full coverage you can do that you can build it up to make it full coverage for sure and this foundation I think is perfect for our skin type like from medium tan it's triggered to it's triggered like it's made for our like skin concern like and plus like it covers the pores and i want to see in times what this foundation does i'm thinking type it hold on pretty good but again saying that i didn't go out but i think the second day i wore it i went out and it looked pretty damn good yes guys just wanted to like it did not break anywhere today like nowhere so let me know guys what do you think and another thing do you guys like these kind of vlog style me trying on foundation each day and recording let me know because I did for another foundation like Pacifica it's not done yet so yes and if you do i will continue making vlog style showing foundation wear try on throughout the day and if you did enjoy watching my video make sure to hit the like button and another thing if you're not subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell anytime i upload a video you will get you will be notified so until then hope to see you guys in another video bye